Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would do a pop figure reorganization, a kind of update on all the new pop figures that I have accumulated since my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, um, I'll have a link so you can check it out and see all the pop figures that I had then. But now I have more because <laughs> I have no self-control. So I did build a new bookshelf right over here. I've been using my time wisely since we've been stuck indoors. Um, so I've got a new bookshelf and hopefully I'll be able to organize everything so that kind of like series are together. So, you know, kind of like Disney together, Harry Potter together, everything like that because they're kind of like that right now, but not as much as I'd like them to be. And yeah, I'll show you guys the new ones that I got. Honestly, it's not like a ton of new ones because your girl's broke, but I get some new ones. So yeah, I'll show you guys uh, my new organization, which hopefully I will figure out as we go along. And I'll show you guys the new pops that I got. So one of the first problems I have to tackle is this Eevee, which is one of the new ones. And unfortunately it's been here for a while and it has been blocking all of these guys. It's just been in front here. This is when I realized that I might need to get a new bookshelf. So that's the first thing that needs to be moved away from here. So I just moved it to the top shelf for now. I don't know if it's gonna stay there. There's a bunch of other ones. So you can just tell there's like just random ones places because I didn't have a place to put them. I've got like some, where did I put them? Oh, yeah, some here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's just like random ones because I didn't know where to put them. So that's what we're figuring out today. But now Evie is gone from here and you can see the Harry Potter ones again and also Bulbasaur, which creates another problem because as I said, I want the like series to be together, which means that in an ideal world, Bulbasaur will be next to Eevee, but that might be something to figure out because I don't think I have another Harry Potter one to put here in this hole. I don't really want there to be a hole, so I have to think about how I want that to be organized. And I'm going to move on to underneath where I have this large porg. Over here you can even see his face. It's like, yeah, very large porg, and I do have, um, two other porgs, but they are all the way hello, down here with Chewbacca. And Chewbacca is also holding a porg, so I guess I have three other porgs. So ideally I would like all of those to go together as well, so all the porgs slash Star Wars can go together, and then all the Harry Potter can go together. Maybe I'll move Stitch to Harry Potter to fill that hole so that Bulbasaur can be next to Eevee. Because there's Stitch is the only Disney one, I think. I think it's like alone in its own little category here. I really need more Disney ones. What's really funny is I realized, I actually, as I was moving these Pokemon ones together, that I actually do have another Disney one, which is the Frozen 2 Water Knock. This one was a gift um, from one of the photographers that I work with. Um, it was really nice of him because he knows I love Frozen slash Frozen 2. <laughs> so he got me this. Um, and I haven't had a place to put it yet, so it's just been living in my room. So I don't know where to put it. Oof, this is going to be like much harder than I expected. Because <laughs> they're all different sizes. It's not just like they're the same size and they can all stack nicely. It's like I like getting like the different sized ones too, so they can't like all go together. I don't know. And if I didn't have enough struggles with organization, I'll bring you over here to the how to drain how to train your dragon section over here where we are unfortunately are missing a nightlight <laughs> which obviously will not fit here maybe i should just take them all down and just completely start over again i think that's what i'm gonna do
So I put them all, I took them all down from my bookshelves and then organized them just into piles based on the series that they're from. So I've got like Disney, Pokemon, Harry Potter, Star Wars, one little Attack on Titan one. I actually have Mikasa, but she is back in Maryland and I forgot to get her last time I was in Maryland. Also my phone, which is not a pop figure. Um, Full Metal Alchemist. All here. Whoa. How to Train Your Dragon. And then Avatar The Last Airbender, which is currently the largest pile. Um, yeah, so I think I might combine some of them. Some of like the smaller piles, because like, I don't know. It's hard because like Krista, there's only one, only one Attack on Titan one. And it's like before she was kind of with the anime stuff and I don't know if I can keep her with that like is it weird if she's with all the full metal alchemist <laughs> ones or is that gonna be or is it like normal I don't know and then maybe I'll probably combine like Disney and Star Wars and maybe Pokemon <laughs> I don't know the Pokemon one seems kind of out of nowhere like the Disney and Star Wars makes sense maybe it's just like start putting them on the bookshelves and then See what happens. So this is basically going to be the video of indecisiveness because what I've done so far if you see here I put all of the avatar ones on the top and then I put all of the FMA ones on the second shelf uh, on the second shelf of the second bookshelf and then I decided what if I just make an entire bookshelf dedicated just two pop figures and then another one dedicated just like books and whatever else is on the bookshelf so that's what i'm gonna do the issue is that i want the first bookshelf the one here that's covered in books to actually be the one that's covered in pop figures and then the one next to that to be the one that has books on it so i'm gonna have to take all the books off and then put them on the shelf next to it so that i can make my vision come true While we're here on my bookshelf, I'll show you some cool stuff. I don't know, maybe it's not cool, I don't know. But some of the stuff on here I think is pretty cool because one thing about me is that I love musicals and I love seeing like shows on Broadway and stuff. Um, so I have like a lot of the like programs and like books from those that have like, like the pictures and everything from the shows. So this one's Wicked, which is my favorite. I've seen it three times. Um, so this is from the most recent time that I saw it. And I think I actually have, yeah, I've got playbills inside. This one is signed. Who is it signed by? I don't know. I can't read the signature. And then let's see, this one is Cursed Child which as much as I hate the book of Cursed Child, I thought that the show was really, really well done. So that's really cool. This is like my favorite souvenir from a show. I also like if you go um, to see like a show in New York on Broadway, um, they have like these little cups that are like souvenir cups and you get a slushie and it comes in the souvenir cup and I keep the cups and that's like my other favorite souvenir to get. But that's only if you go to New York. Um, so I've got a couple, but not as many as I would like. For example, when I saw Frozen, I saw it here in Hollywood at the Pantages. So no souvenir cup, but souvenir playbill. It's got all the art. I also, not gonna lie about this one because I wanted to see like closer up of all the costumes and stuff, which is like all of them because like I'm blind, so I can't for them see anything. One thing I have to be really careful about is that these bookshelves are not nailed into the wall. 
So I have to put the heavy stuff at the bottom or they will fall over and kill us all. Especially because I'm sitting directly underneath it right now. Game of Thrones. I've not read the Game of Thrones book or books, but here's one of them. A lot of Harry Potter books here. This is my favorite book though, besides Harry Potter. I've got, I think, three copies of it total. I've got like one here. I think I have one in my room, maybe, or maybe not. And I know I have one, at least one in Maryland. One of them completely fell apart because it was like an early edition of it. And it like just disintegrated. <laughs> that was the first one I had. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite books in the world, Confederacy of Dunces. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I feel like I'm going crazy. Like, did I add something? Because all these books fit here on this shelf. Not on this shelf. I don't remember adding anything. I'm losing my mind. God, this tripod isn't very tall, but like, it's onto the top of the bookshelf, I guess. I think I might move a bunch of these books that I just put on this shelf down to the bottom and then move these to be with like all of the like Broadway show books that I just showed you. Now we can have like the bigger ones together and like the smaller ones together. So now that all the books are moved, I think I can start putting the pops back up now. And hopefully not stepping on them. This is kind of how it looks now. I think I'm kind of done for today. Obviously there's a lot of room to add pops <laughs> to it, um, which is good. Like there's spaces and stuff, but I do tend to accumulate more of them. So um, at least there's space to put them, uh, especially like the Legend of Korra ones, which are coming out soon, which by the way, are all on my Amazon wish list. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got the Avatar ones up here, and then some of the new ones I didn't have last time I filmed about my pops are the Cabbage Merchant and this larger flocked oppa, which means he's a little bit fuzzy. Um, so I have regular oppa, and then this oppa, and then here's the Cabbage Merchant up here. And then underneath, this shelf is a little bit random because it's got a bunch of Full Metal Alchemist along the bottom, and then one more Full Metal Alchemist up here, and Krista, and Stitch, and Bulbasaur. So that kind of makes no sense, but 
I'll just put like one more random one here, I guess, and then the, that row will just be random. Um, and then underneath, Eevee and Waternock, um, just because they're kind of big. The Eevee one is the biggest pop that I have, I think, so kind of hard to place. And underneath, I've got Harry Potter. Again, there's room for more. Um, so I've got my large Niffler and the sm small <laughs> Nifflers, um, Picket, Sirius, and Ginny. And then under here, Harry Potter books, which is really just for weight so the bookshelf doesn't fall over. And then like random Harry Potter World snacks that I think someone bought me. Um, and my Switch box under here for some reason. I don't know. Why do I even have the box? I don't know. And over here, just some random books on top of Cards Against Humanity. And that skull I used for my Wednesday cosplay, but unfortunately it dropped at the last shoot. So now he gets to live here. More books on top. Honestly, these two bookshelves should probably be switched, but they're not. So, well, got a lot of manga here. Um, tried to keep like series together, so there's like a ton of Attack on Titan, and then um, some random like I think these are ones I just had like singles of, so yeah, like just like the first of a lot of them. I think some of them were just like given to me, and some of them I've read. And then up here, ton of other ones. A lot of these I guess I did kind of do it by genre, I guess a little bit because all of these kind of go together. <laughs> um, Absolute Boyfriend was my first ever manga that I read, so it was Baby and Me because they were together in Soldier Beat. Um, Full Metal Alchemist, so you got like pink and cute slice of life, and then Full Metal Alchemist. And then Avatar Last Airbender, which most, I have a lot more of these back home in Maryland, which I keep meaning to bring with me here to California, and haven't. Uh, which I need to do so I can have them all together because I hate like when parts of the series are like in different places I like having them all together the ones I have here I'm also missing the newest core one which I read but didn't purchase um, so I need to go get it and then I need to get the library editions because I really want them even though I have them in the single editions because I can't wait so I want to get them as library editions too and up here to the top shelf we have large porg and then small porgs and Chewbacca with porg and above them we have all of my uh how to Train Your Dragon, and again, there's another space there, so I guess you could put another one. Um, but I was able to get all of the Nightlights together with their parents and all the Porgs together. And this does look kind of empty now. I moved um, some of the Disney souvenir cups that were down here. It's now wands, and then down here really needs to be organized and cleaned or like get drawers or something. I don't know, but I put all the DVDs and games and Blu-rays together. Put all these together, I don't know. These just, that just needs to be cleaned up. But I've got wands and then my roommate's books. And if she needs more bookshelf space, she can have it. And that's kind of how it looks all together. And of course, importantly, this is how it will look when I do mirror selfies. So not as many pops prominently in front. It's fine, but. <laughs> That's when people tend to notice the pops the most, I think, is in my mirror selfies. <laughs> so here we go, and here's, here's what I'm wearing today, because we never leave the apartment anymore. Thank you, coronavirus. So that's kind of everything. Um, I, didn't, I didn't put this back on the tripod, I'm just holding it. Um, so yeah, my bookshelf slash pop figure organization. Um, and yeah, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, I know I collect a lot. This isn't even my whole collection. There's just stuff out here, not even the stuff in my room. And if you want it, you are under no obligation to do this whatsoever. But if you want to, I do usually put pops that I'm looking for on my Amazon wish list so that you can uh, go on my Amazon wish list and send them to me and then let me know. You can DM me on Instagram and I will send you a signed print, whatever my coffee print is um, for the month. I will send that to you, I'll sign it, personalize it, and oh, that's for every, if you send me anything off my Amazon wishlist, not just a pop figure, if you send me anything off my Amazon wishlist, I'll send you a print, or if there is a pop figure that you really want to send me, or any toy collector thing that you want to send me, um, I do have my a PO box as well, which I will have uh, in the description box down below, along with my Amazon wishlist. Send me whatever, just let me know that you sent it, so again, I can say thank you, that I can send a print, 
so I'm not really confused about why a random item is in my P.O. box. Um, but I really appreciate it and I love getting gifts and I love getting pop figures and I love collecting them. I love collecting just things in general. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, to, um, if you liked this video, to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Follow me on other social media, Instagram, this, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. <laughs> And I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to wash your hands, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye.